In today's Lion 6 Pod Go tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to do a factory reset and a couple other options that we can perform on the pedal. You do need your power supply plugged in, power, uh, have your power switch off on the pedal. Uh, I do encourage you to do a backup for all your settings because all of these resets are going to erase uh, your global settings, your presets, everything. So be sure to back up your presets that you don't want to lose um, and create a backup. And to do that, you just have to have your USB plugged into your pedal and then into your laptop and then open up your pod, go edit, hit file at the top. Uh, and then you're going to see you can export your presets or create a backup at the bottom. Creating a backup is going to save your global settings, all your personal savings that you want to. So with that, let's look into... Uh, what each factory reset option is going to accomplish. You could do a factory restore, which is going to restore all of your factory settings, or you can just clear everything, which is going to clear all your presets, your factory settings, uh, and then you can do an update mode, which can be helpful for any interrupted or failed updates. I've never messed with the update mode because I have not had an issue with my uh, pod go, but I do follow a few guitar Podgo, Line 6, Helix uh, groups on the internet. And there seems to be quite a bit of few people who are having issues where you power on your pedal randomly and you're having issues getting it started or you're not able to update it. I'll show you guys how to do that, but I've never messed around with it. So after you do the commands for that update, you know, I'm not too sure what happens after that. But we're going to start with the factory restore, which restores all factory settings. You're going to power on your switch and then immediately hold the C and the D switch is down for about five to eight seconds is what they recommend. So let's give it a shot. And on your screen, you should see at the top left that it's gonna say, will reset global presets. Once you see that, you can let go, resetting factory presets. And it's actually pretty quick that it does all this. And boom, you're done. So now, you can even see that this is showing a uh, built-in preset. So that is telling me that it reset everything. Let's power it off. Now, if we want to do a clear all, this is gonna clear all your presets, factory settings will not load, you know, all that stuff, everything. It's gonna clear everything. You're gonna hold the A and B button now. So those down and then up here, top left, it should say, again, clearing or we'll re-clear global presets. Resetting, there we go. It's doing that stuff. And there you go. So now it's, it's cleared everything. Now we're gonna look at the update mode. What you're gonna wanna hold is your page right, right as you open up. It goes to a white screen. Uh, you're gonna wanna have uh, your USB plugged in. If you are having issues, uh, you do want your USB plugged in so that you can get into the pod go edit software. Again, I've never had an issue with it. So um, after you complete the step with holding the page right button, uh, you're probably going to want to go into your software options on your Podgo uh, edit software on the bottom left, but I'll show you. So power on. Oop. Maybe a little faster. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my camera and Hold these settings. So it goes uh, bright white on all of your switches. Uh, and then if with your USB plugged in, you can go into your uh, edit software uh, to do your update mode for any interrupted or failed updates. Hopefully this helps guys. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will be sure to reach out. Thanks again for watching my video. Always appreciate it.